Hello, everyone. Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale. We're looking at Dolly. Dolly's track now continues a more westward turn as it moves on in toward Tampico, making landfall shortly after midnight. The National Hurricane Center flying an aircraft, reconnaissance aircraft, into Dolly, determining that it's pretty much a mess inside, but the overall storm movement is now to the west, and again, putting it on near Tampico shortly after midnight. Still is a player to deliver rain to the Rio Grande Valley. Its course has been altered by this stubborn mid-upper level high pressure over the northern Gulf of Mexico, helping to kind of steer it a little further to the west. Tropical storm warning in effect from Carboneras, Mexico, on down south of Tampico. All the action, therefore, will be south of the valley for the most part. Uh, we're looking at a coastal flood advisory, though, for the valley. That means we'll see some high surf out there, high surf advisory in effect as well. The chance for rain, you know, we're still in the game. We're still on the northern fringe of all this, so we're going to keep the opportunity for rain and thunderstorms through Wednesday as Dolly, or what's left of it, moves inland into Mexico throughout the day on Wednesday and into Thursday as well, keeping that chance for rain and thunderstorms. Could see one to two inch totals around the valley, maybe a couple of spots of two to three. Again, that's based on Dolly's projected path. We'll keep an eye on that rainfall to be certain. Seven-day forecast, that runs you through Wednesday and Thursday, the best opportunity for rain associated with Dolly and what's left of it. But then as we get into the end of the week and the weekend and early next week, it's all about the daily dose. You know, that shower or thunder shower, perhaps with the sea breeze or just good old-fashioned daytime heating. That's a look at your 24-7 forecast.